Today, I wanna to talk about screen time and its effect on our vision. Hey guys, I'm Spencer, and we really do be living in a society, don't we? I mean, we are addicted to screens with cell phones, tablets, computers, TV, cars with giant infotainment systems. We have a screen in our face practically every second of the day. Our lives pretty well revolve around the glowing of monitors. And with all this addictive technology, getting our eyes glued to the screen, I started to wonder, how is that for our eyes? I mean, how is it affecting our eyes? Well, I actually went to visit a doctor to find out. A few days ago, I had a checkup at the eye doctor. Now I haven't been to the eye doctor in quite some time. I mean like five or six years probably. I've never really felt like I needed it because I have pretty much great vision. Like 2020 is considered like average good vision, but I had like 2010 vision when I was growing up, like the best of the best vision. And it got a little bit worse as I got a bit older, but only to like 2015, it was still really, really good. So I never thought that I needed any eye care really. I never really went to the doctor and never really thought much about it. But recently I was getting kind of anxious to go and get a professional opinion because I felt like my eyes were starting to give me trouble. I mean, nothing crazy, but sometimes at night I was finding it hard to see certain things like street sign in the distance, that type of thing. And I mean, in the real distance, like in the back 40. And I wasn't sure, but in the back of my mind, I was just thinking, it's all the screens. So I had my appointment a few days ago and lo and behold, my vision is degrading a bit. My perfect vision from childhood is now suffering from a light level of myopia, nearsightedness, and even a little bit of an astigmatism, which is a flatness on the front of the eye. My doctor told me that it wasn't bad enough that he would actually even recommend getting glasses. He said that my vision was pretty much close to perfect, but it had degraded to that point that using glasses might provide some benefit for sharpening and adding contrast to things at a distance. He gave me a prescription anyways, saying I didn't need to use it, but at some point if I felt like I did want it, it would be there. Now I'm a guy who likes to ask a lot of questions, okay? I need to know why. I've been going to this eye doctor my whole life. Basically, since I was like five years old, I've been going to see this guy. He's not a glasses salesman. He doesn't try to talk you into getting a pair of lenses every time you go there. That's kind of why I've been hesitant to switch going to eye doctors, even though I now have to drive back to my hometown every time, because most times you go to an eye doctor, I feel like you're going to an optician. You're going to an eye doctor at a glasses place. And I feel like nine out of 10 people who walk into one of those places, they leave with a prescription whether or not they need it. So I asked him, why is this happening to my eyes? And he of course told me, you know, the simple answer, which is that as we age, our eyes slightly degrade. It's just part of aging. Our eyes just change shape to the tasks that we're doing. And sometimes if we're doing a task long enough, they just have a hard time changing back. As we age, our eyes kind of weaken, I guess, and they don't really return to their neutral shape as readily. And that can cause our vision to get worse. So basically the answer was aging. Then I asked him about screens. I said that I'm pretty careful about it, or at least I'm maybe more aware of it in the back of my mind when I'm actually using a screen that it's probably messing things up a little bit. But just like everyone else, since probably 2020, I'm on screens a lot more than I used to be, partially because of work and partially just because that's the way that our world's going. Could that have played any part in the strain on my eyes that caused my vision to worsen? He told me that certainly screens would play a role, but he really can't advise against using it functionally because we need screens so much to just be a part of society nowadays. A lot of people rely on screens for the majority of their jobs, and a lot of us otherwise just use screens for most of our leisure time, whether it's watching TV, watching YouTube, going on social media, just scrolling on our phones. It's become so core into our lives, and that can be pretty tough on our eyes. But as he said, it's not something that he's just about to say, don't do it anymore, because that's basically just like saying, don't live in society anymore. People wouldn't be able to do their jobs. So really quick to the science of it, and I'm not a scientist, nor am I a doctor. This is just kind of a, my understanding of it. Our eyes are just sacks of fluid that flex and that they bend to shape to the light that's coming in so we can focus on things that we're looking at. When you focus on something really close to your eyes, your eyes have to kind of stretch. They have to narrow kind of and elongate back so they're able to focus on something close. The problem is if you're doing that for a very long time, your eyes almost get kind of locked, kind of stuck in that kind of narrow elongated way. And then when you go to stop doing that, it maybe takes a little bit longer for it to focus back on your distance vision. Doing this over and over over again for a very long period of time for months and for years can lead to a worsening of distance vision which is why we call it nearsightedness because people are able to look nearsighted at things that are near to them and they can see that okay but it's things in the distance that are a problem 
The truth is that looking at things close up is actually a lot harder on our eyes than looking things at a distance. Looking at things at a distance, what we would call optical infinity, is a much more relaxing thing for our eyes. We, that's why people can drive for a really long time and they're not going to feel the same tiredness of the eyes from looking super far ahead as you would feel from looking at an article for a very long time, just looking at a screen. Every time that we look at a screen, we're using that close focus sight and we're fatiguing our eyes. Technology is obviously the worst for this. Now look, I'd be lying if I told you that writing or reading doesn't have a very similar effect because it does. To look at something very close, just like reading a book, is going to have a similar effect where your eyes are having to focus at this and then it has a hard time after a while to look at a distance. But guys, come on, we don't read that much. What we do is look at our phones all the time. I mean, the average person nowadays looks at screens for nearly seven hours a day. I think if you're part of Gen Z, I read, it's closer to nine hours a day. And honestly, just for both of those numbers, I think those numbers are even light still. I think for most people, including me, from morning to night, we pretty much use our screens. From the moment we open our eyes to just before the moment that we close them. Think about it. We wake up, instantly check social media, probably before you even go to the bathroom. Then we go to work. And many people do that in front of a screen. I usually don't, so lucky me. But let's not pretend that we don't spend a good chunk of our work day occupying ourselves with entertainment on our screens anyway. Then on the drive home and maybe making dinner, you're listening to a podcast, you're being occupied by technology, and then TV or YouTube or Netflix or video games until bed, and then we kiss our phones goodnight and go to sleep. That's pretty much our lives and it's not good. And the fact is that myopia Myopia, or nearsightedness, is actually on the rise. Increased tech usage is causing more dry eyes, more digital eye strain is what it's called, and it's causing this nearsightedness. Actually, the World Health Organization predicts that by 2050, 50% 50 of people are going to be nearsighted because of the increased use of technology. The WHO has noted that since 2020, there has been a drastic increase in screen time, calling the rise exponential. And I guess it's in part because it's become so convenient to use these screens at all hours of the day. But it hasn't always been like this. I mean, I'm old enough to remember a time where when I was in elementary school, let's say there was no cell phones. Kids didn't have cell phones. I mean, there, there was cell phones around, but kids didn't have cell phones. I didn't get a phone until basically I was in high school. Sure, we played video games and we watched cartoons and we did things like that, but the screen time was much lower on average than it is for people of today. And the statistics showing the increase of screen time definitely bear this out. So this is a bit of a tangent, but the fact of the matter is that these technologies were supposed to set us free. They were supposed to help us lead better lives by putting the world's information at our fingertips. But maybe it's not the best thing to have the world's information at our fingertips at all times. Maybe it becomes too tempting to have everything all at once available to us. And of course, I've said it in other videos, but big business has really gotten in the way. It is people's job, who people who are actually paid by tech companies to keep you interested in their app or in their device and keep you using it as much as possible, ideally all hours of the day. It's their job to make sure that you can't, forget won't, can't put it down. So generally, I think we all need to take a pretty big step back from technology. That's a theme of this channel, of course. And I know that people need screens for their jobs, and I'm not gonna tell you to quit your job, even though wouldn't that be ideal, right? If you need a screen for your job, it's probably much more important for you to try to find ways to not use screens as much outside of your job. Finding analog forms of entertainment that's going to give your eyes a little bit of a break. But we need to make a concerted effort to reduce our consumption of information on screens, not only for the benefit of our lost time, but for our physical health. We need to think really hard about whether a certain technology is helpful or even harmful to let into our lives. And if we do deem that it's okay, we have to figure out the appropriate amount which is beneficial before it becomes the opposite. And just to throw in this quick detail here too, blue light glasses do not work. Blue light has been proven to not really be a thing. I mean, blue light is emitted from screens, but we actually get much more blue light from the natural light of the sun and just being outside in natural light than we would ever get from a screen. So wearing blue light glasses really isn't effective at preventing any sort of eye damage. So save a bit of coin and just skip picking those up completely. They're, they're a waste of money. They're a bit of a scam. The best thing that you can do for your eyes is to reduce prolonged close focus activity, whether that's screens or reading a book. But if you must, the best thing to do then is to practice the 20-20-20 rule, which is basically for every 20 minutes of screen time, look 20 feet away 
for approximately 20 seconds just to let your eyes relax and look at something in a distance. And then you can get right back to what you were doing. This can have huge benefits at protecting against eye strain, but can also force you to take a break from potentially distracting technology anyways. So it's a win-win. As with many things, it's best to start living the life that you should live now and then reap the rewards in old age. To a degree, we need to live for our future selves and we'll be much better off for it. So thanks again for tuning in for this one, guys. I hope you found it interesting. Just one more time to say I'm not a doctor. I'm just a concerned and also interested patient. And I thought I would share my insights on this and what I've learned because I don't see very many people doing it. Do you worry about how screen time might be affecting your eyes? Are you willing to make any changes to how you consume technology if it meant preserving your vision for the long term? Let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.